Today I've got the latest gloves from one of my favourite clothing brands, Showboater. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm Simon, I'm a full time boxing coach, former amateur boxer and I love boxing equipment and I bring the best boxing equipment and the worst boxing equipment to you on this channel. I give you my thoughts on them, I show you round them, I rate them and I rank them. So these gloves I'm going to review today and at the end of course I will give the score for these. The gloves of course these are from Showboater and you will know that I wear a lot of Showboater gear. Um, in the videos. I absolutely love the brand. I love the logo. Um, I've always loved the Air Jordan logo but as a boxer I didn't like the fact that when I was wearing Air Jordan uh, that you got the junk man and people would think that you were into basketball. This one people know you're into boxing but looks as cool as the Jordan Air jump man which i think is amazing now their clothing as i've said is brilliant i mean they come like hoodies uh, this is a sleeveless one uh, i've also got a couple of full hoodies which are excellent then you, they've got onto some really great shorts that they do there um, i've also got these gladi gladiator type shorts that they did there again superb quality and then some really great designs when it comes to their t-shirts there you can see goat uh, greatest of all time so people see you wearing that and they either think that you're a big head or uh, or that you like goats uh, but it is a fabulous t-shirt uh, they have ventured into boxing gloves and I have reviewed those behind me uh, so you check out that review that I did before these are the latest version one of the things that I said about the previous ones is obviously the three on the thumb which is from Grant three on the wrist which is from Grant and I'm always encouraging companies to come away from copying and some companies listen to me and some companies don't and Showboater with these latest gloves has listened to me so as you can see uh, there's you've got the double on the thumb which again Grant used to do a double thumb but the difference is what they've done with the rest of that thumb it actually goes into the rear of the glove and then they've carried that forward in terms of the two stripes that are on that large velcro there and they've got showboater logo there and they've also got it embroidered on the back there so during this video i did take the opportunity to uh, a good friend of mine elijah everill 13 times wacko world champion kickboxer i uh, asked him if he could sort of help me with the testing of course i don't show all the testing in these videos they would just be far too long and probably you'd be bored to death so what i do is i just give a little snippet of some of the training and some of the testing that we do so in today's video it is elijah that you'll see with these on but of course i have used them as well in many many rounds on different heavy bags so let's have a closer look at these gloves okay so you can see the style of them there you've got that two-tone on the wrist i like that where they've got the showboater in the embroidery on there then you've got that unique looking sweep of the two colors coming from the thumb then you've got the showboater logo on there as you can see it does look a little bit rough that does and um, that could be improved in terms of that screen printing that is going on the rear of the glove when it comes to the knuckle area um, it's a very dense foam knuckle area there okay now it is quite hard to begin with uh, after you've used it a good few rounds as i have done with these it starts to soften up but it's not a super soft glove bring that round you have got the thumb attachment on that on there it's a comfortable thumb that sweeps round in that design as i say is very different from your just normal split thumb that lots of companies do bring it round for the wrist you've got the showboater on the bottom there You've got that Velcro at the front and that 360 degree um, Velcro fastening. It's really long, that is, that goes all the way around. Let's just have a look at the stitching and the face of the glove. 
you've got that grip bar there. The, the stitching's okay, it's, it's decent, I wouldn't say it's brilliant, it's just okay. You've got there, you've got an elastic to stop the gape. Uh, bring that across and then inside. Now as you can see, you can see 16 ounce sneak showboater there. On the outside it hasn't got 16 ounce, but it has got on the label inside. I'd like to see that 16 ounce somewhere on the outside of the glove as well. And there is, you've got a soft spongy uh, liner, which is a nice liner. Uh, this glove of course, £79.99. So first to the scales, the left glove, let's put that on there, these are 16 ounce on the label and they come out at 17.4, okay so that's heavy, that's reflective of that big velcro, so that's a little heavy and then this one, the right glove, 17.7, that's even heavier, so I would say that they are both a little heavy for a 16 ounce with a velcro. Okay, let's go comfort. Um, let's put them on. Obviously, you've got that big Velcro. The lining is a nice lining, actually. Um, I've seen more expensive gloves than these with a worse lining. When it comes to the comfort, a little bit of a, a sort of a pressure point, a bit of a gathering at the rear, the top of the fingernails, and on that first knuckle. That is the only place, really, that I feel that this glove has got any discomfort. Finger pad is fine, thumb is fine, thumb attachment is fine, does its job as well. Um, good knuckle protection to protect those hands. So if you've got sort of uh, hands that need protecting, there's a good amount of padding in that knuckle. Let's just put the second one on and um, of course that big. It is a good Velcro in terms of how sticky it is. And then as always, I have to sort of fight to get that. I'm, oh, I'm getting better at it actually, fantastic. Okay, I'm getting lots and lots of these gloves that have got the 360. I always say 360 Velcro is too much, um, but as you can see, because I'm getting so many of those gloves, I'm, I'm actually getting a bit of an expert, so perhaps I will change my mind. Um, okay, so you can open the, the hands, no problem. Uh, these are gloves that are quite stiff at first, so after a good few rounds on the bag, they start to ease off. So there are gloves that do get better after day one. Again, the same issue, I would say, just behind the top of the fingernails and that first knuckle, that is where the only part that you think, oh, that's a bit uncomfortable. Thumb is fine. Um, fingertip pad uh, is fine. You can, you can open up. So, uh, again, when it comes to comfort, uh, they're a comfortable glove. So these are striking looking gloves. They're the type of gloves that when you see them on, I think they actually look better than when you just look at them normally. So when Elijah was wearing them and I was looking at them and he was hitting the bags, I was thinking, you know, they look really smart. Uh, I love the fact that they've gone for that sort of new design. It, this is a small company and they have sort of gone big in terms of design, whereas bigger companies quite often play it safe and just copy the big boys. Uh, again, it's something I'm always saying to brands not to do. So these here... I do think that Showboater has gone out on a limb and tried to do something different. As we look at the style there, I think that's obviously that logo, as I've said before, I think that logo, I could have done a little bit of a better job on that logo. It's a little bit sort of how it's gone on there. You can see sort of the edges 
I like that design there. Of course, when it comes to the long Velcro, I always say I'm not a big fan of, of long Velcros. That 360 going around the wrist, yeah, it gives a little bit more on the wrist support, but I, I just don't like the bulkiness of it. And as you'll see from the weight um, that we've previously mentioned, it has an effect with these in that they are a heavy glove. Uh, if that was sort of finishing there, I think it would be a better glove and it'd be a lighter glove as well. So let's have a look. Uh, these are going to go into the Fitter Box welterweight division for gloves between 51 English pounds and 100 English pounds. That is 61 US dollars to 120 US dollars. So let's get the card up on screen. I've gone Style 91. I've gone Comfort 89. I've gone Durability 89. I've gone Sparring 88. Bag 90. And Value for Money 92 at 79 pounds 99. That gives them an overall score of 89.8, .8, which is above average. It's just fall short of a good rating on my sort of chart. So 89.8 .8 for these very sort of eye-catching gloves. I'll put the links below to not only their Instagram, if you want to get some of their clothing, but also obviously if you want to grab yourself a pair of their gloves. Uh, they have got an eBay store as well. And I do think that there's some... Some big things going to be happening with this company uh, next year. I believe they're going to get themselves a website as well. But I have to say, when it comes to the clothing, I have been really, really impressed with the clothing. Continually, I do pick up a showboat atop. If I'm going training or if I'm going to go uh, to the gym, I find myself picking up showboat shorts or hoodie, whatever it is, and the quality has been superb. I don't think their gloves are at the same standard as their clothing yet. But I have spoke to them, I've advised them about what I would do when it comes to their boxing gloves. And so I am excited about what this company can do, because when it comes to their designs, I think they have got some really good designs that is in, in their sort of head and getting them onto t-shirts and clothing and gloves I think that they can do it. Also you do get a very good and quite smart bag as well which has also got a zip which sometimes you most of the time you don't see a zip on the bags of course you can put your uh, your hand wraps and your gum shield and everything in that and keep those uh, gloves in good condition just because they've supplied you with a quality bag as well so for £79.99 I don't think you can complain for that but we have got here an above average no stars glove at 89.8 .8. I hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and I shall speak to you soon